Hi there. Good morning. At least it's morning here. It's a beautiful Saturday morning at the end of February. No snow. <laughs> um, so if you're new to this channel, um, I live in the south eastern part of Norway and uh, very close to the sea. And the climate here is um, quite mild, I would say, but it's it's gotten much warmer during the last few years. The reason why I'm mentioning that is that um, I'm going to talk about my boots in this video and this is a requested video. Um, some of you have been asking first of all what kind of boots these rubber boots I'm always wearing in my videos. <laughs> Not always, uh, but I have to admit, I, I tend to use these boots. Uh, and also I have been asked what kind of um, boots I recommend for bushcrafting and uh, hiking. Um, so let me start with um, the last question, question first. Um, hiking and bushcrafting, of course, to um, different activities, I would say. For hiking, I would say don't ask me, ask someone in your local area or in the area that you, where you are going hiking, because it will all depend on, um, on where you are. If you will, like if you're hiking in, um, in the mountains in Norway in October, that, that's very different from hiking in a desert in, uh, in, uh, in Africa, you know. So do ask um, someone local um, in that area. Um, for bushcrafting, well, I do actually recommend um, rubber boots um, or uh, Wellingtons, as the, I think you... You English, you say Wellingtons. Uh, and the reason why I do recommend those for most climates, again, it depends on the climate. Um, it's because, first of all, because of the ticks. We have a problem here in, uh, in uh, Scandinavia with uh, ticks. Uh, during the last few years, uh, it's become really, really bad. So the reason why I started wearing boots like this is because uh, I've discovered that ticks can't climb up these rubber boots so do get boots that go high up on your leg here um, and um, not the neoprene kind but uh, the smooth rubber surface so that uh, those little critters they can't get hold on the, on the surface and climb up your leg. Um, I would also say that they are very practical, these boots, because it's normally wet, except in summer. The winters here are wet and um, yeah, I'll have to get some more firewood. This was, I have to admit this, uh, this fire was a bit for show. I'm not having food or anything. Um, I'm uh, I'm on my way. I want to do a, not a hike, but a, just a morning walk. Um, so I thought uh, I would talk a little bit about my boots. So so do get some rubber boots with that goes high up on your leg, because that will protect you um, against ticks. If you live in an area with ticks, I know it's bad here in Scandinavia. I know it's bad in some parts of North America and uh, uh, England. So, yeah, let me get some more firewood.
I'm really sorry about that. I got one of the twigs, I caught the wire to the microphone. Um, I'm sorry about that. So I, it, uh, the receiver on my trousers fell down and yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, where was I? Yes. Um, the boots. Um, try to get a smooth as rubber boots with a smooth surface. Um, so I do recommend uh, Wellingtons or rubber boots. Now, uh, this brand is called uh, Tretorn. That's T-R-E-T-O-R-N. But I know there are several other brands as well. Um, and what I like about this kind of, you know, rubber boots like this, it's uh, they are very soft. The sole is soft, and I don't like. Um, typically, hunting boots will have a very hard. Uh, sole it doesn't flex under my foot I don't like that at all um, and also an another thing about hiking do take into consideration um, are you going to carry a heavy backpack which by the way I don't recommend uh, that you do I think uh, we should all try to travel with a light backpack and knowledge doesn't weigh anything, you know. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it, about boots. Um, I didn't think I was going to use these boots as much as I do. If there wasn't for the ticks, I would actually use something completely different. But that's, that's just me. And I'll tell you what it is, what kind of boots. Uh, not really boots, but um, I would use five fingers uh, toe shoes, actually, my favorite shoes. Um, I don't know if you've seen those, but they have a, a separate, they like glow, gloves for your, your feet, so you can move every toe, um, um, and uh, they are super comfortable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, but that, that's just me. Um, I can't wear them in these woods because of all the ticks. And now during winter it's it's too cold. But um, yeah, if if you can and you don't have ticks and so on in your area, I would actually recommend those. Yeah, but that's maybe not for everyone. I do realize that, you know. <laughs> okay. So this is um, yeah, on, I'm on my way, as I said, and uh, so this was just going to be a, a short video for you. I will be back on Saturday uh, with a, another video. And uh, yes, as always, I wish you a wonderful day and uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.